Building AI applications that can access external tools and data has been a fragmented custom code nightmare. MCP changes everything by standardizing these connections. Build once, connect anywhere is kind of the idea of MCP. So in this video, let's explore what is MCP and how it works. All right, so MCP, Model Context Protocol, is an open protocol that enables seamless integration between AI applications or our AI agents. And there we go, I'm gonna draw an AI agent for us. So our AI agents and their integration with the various tools and the external data sources that they need in order to do the task that we ask them to do. And that protocol and that connection is what we are defining as model context protocol, MCP. It's the transport layer and it helps us standardize this connection. Now, where did it come from? Well, you can think of MCP as very much like APIs for web apps that helps the APIs really help standardize how web apps connect to our backends, our databases, and other systems. In the exact same way, MCP standardizes how AI apps and agents connect to data and tools. Now, what are the core components of MCP or architecture, if you will? You have a client, MCP client. This is where you can say the application where the LLM or the AI resides, and that is hosted in a host. So you have an MCP host, and that is carrying this application or the client, which could be your chatbot, your AI web app, your mobile app, anything that you're powering um, with AI. Then that is connected to your MCP servers. Now you could have multiple MCP servers to connect to your external data sets. I'm making three here. I'm gonna make some room to connect those servers to our external data sets. Now the MCP server, let's say the first one's connected to some database for external data retrieving. The second one goes and talks to an API. And then the third one maybe connects to a file system. And there could be many more like this. And the idea is that the data that comes from the database, the APIs, the file system is wrapped into a wrapper. The MCP server wraps it up in a standardized format for the LLM and the client to work with it. Now, this layer is the protocol layer, and that is our MCP protocol, our connection between the client and the server. Here are the three main interfaces here, right? Um, tools, which is your model invoked functions to retrieve and search, send messages, and update your databases. The second is the resources, which is your application accessed data objects to access files, API resources, database records, and then the last is the prompts, which is the user triggered templates and user is giving us this information. So just like web servers, clients can also be servers and then you can have multiple iterations of those clients too. Now let's understand this architecture with an example of an AI powered travel agent or a travel assistant and how this scenario with MCP protocol would work in this application. So again, you have the MCP client, which is sitting inside the MCP host. And this client is your travel booking website, your mobile app or your chat app that's going to take the travel requests from the customer or the user. Then that client is going to also have access to a large language model, which is going to power this application and the client is going to connect to a bunch of MCP servers. And these servers, maybe the first one is for flight information and flight booking API. The second one could be for hotel reservation system. We could have a third one 
for weather API or weather forecast information. And I lost room, so I'm going to move my LLM up top <laughs> to make room for more MCP servers. All right, here we go. So another MCP server maybe that's helping us look at attractions and activity in our activities in our databases. I'm not drawing these, but assume that these in the back end then connect to databases. But here is a user and they're asking us or the MCP client, which is our app, AI powered application for a seven day trip to Japan in April with family. So we have some additional information and they like to do outdoor things, perfect and also like cultural things. That goes into our client. The client assesses the request. It connects to the LLM, sends that information to the large language model for it to process and what it would need. Also connects to the MCP servers to make sure the connections are okay and they are responding. The LLM assesses the information and says, I would need flights, hotels, weather, and attraction related details. Hey, MCP client, get me all those details. And so the MCP client goes back to the MCP servers for each of those respective information, gets that information from those servers to the LLM. Again, the standardization is extremely helpful because the client knows exactly how to get those details and how to package that information and then um, get the response from the LLM and response back to our user. Now you could imagine a response could look something like this. Here's your seven day plan with flight details in it, the hotel reservation information in it, attraction details in it things to pack depending on the weather information. And you could pack a lot more information in here depending on the different MCP clients. You could get a confirmation from the user and then go ahead and make those bookings with these MCP clients as well. Now, one of the, ben the biggest important thing before we wrap up is to talk about the benefits of MCP, right? The first and the foremost thing is it really helped to get that real-time data and information in a standardized format, up-to-date flight information, hotel, weather-related things, helped personalize a lot of it. The system can combine all this data from different things and really cater to the user's uh, question. And then it also went and did a comprehensive planning. I didn't have to go do all of this myself. And the most important benefit of MCP is the adaptability and extensibility. So if I tomorrow want to add restaurant reservations to this very easily, I can do that because of the standard protocol of the connection between the client and the server. And that, my friends, is Model Context Protocol. If you like this video and want to see more such content, subscribe to my channel for more such stuff. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.